All right, so we have another Field of Glory 2 Digital League Season 8 Battle. This is the Classical section, Division A. Um, so I'm bringing Romans with Greek allies to the field against Romans of a later era and Numidian or Moorish allies. Uh, so I'm guessing my opponent will have many, many skirmishers available. So 11 foot skirmishers at, as max and eight mounted skirmishers as max, or yes, eight. Um, the time difference of the Roman armies also means that uh, my armies are still using the old levy system of the Republic, and these Roman legionaries I'm facing are those of the late Republic, where it was more like a client system or a paid patronage system. And so basically in game terms, they are of higher quality, better armored, and more expensive. So upsides and downsides. Uh, my own army can field large numbers of light infantry. As a somewhat unfortunate mandatory three Weletes, I don't really care for these guys, although they are going to be better in a future patch uh, in which they will downgrade to lightly protected from protected but gain 50% swordsmen, which would make them pretty effective in melee against other skirmishers anyway. Um, anyway, to the field. This is bad. Uh, th this whole ridge line is bad. So I might need to. Let's see, what is our deployment area? We could seize this hill, although it is somewhat isolated. And of course, we start here. So there might actually be some scope for cavalry action in this matchup. I'm going to, well, let's see here. Neither army can really bring very good cavalry to the field. I think Hayes might be mildly better just from access to this noble cavalry, but that might just be a uh, opinion sort of thing. Uh, my light horse will be likely to be grossly outnumbered. In fact, this puts us in something of a dilemma. I think I need to shift my whole line down, anchor on this hill instead of centering on this hill, and shift the focus of the action to this left flank. We'll cut the video during endless deliberations. Okay, so here is our deployment. Um, we settled on 10 units of skirmishers. Hopefully not an overinvestment, but I did not want to be forced into an assault. Um, in terms of cavalry, we just got two units to hopefully cover our flanks. Um, the armored cavalry is pretty poor. 
his masses of light cavalry that I think he will bring could be a problem. So we will have to keep our foot skirmishers near our main battle line. Uh, we can easily seize this hill and this hill. And this has height 100 per slope, which is key because it means it gives 100 DOA instead of 25 for the slope advantage. Um, orthogonally, uh, diagonally, it would still be the 25. So we go from 0 to 50 to. Oh, so here to here would be 25 POA. Here to here would be 100. Something to keep in mind. Um, this could be irritating if he dumps medium foot in here. I might need to um, shift my sole unit of medium foot in. But let's see what he brought to the battlefield. Ugh. So I did not under or over invest in skirmishers. I may have under invested. So we have 12 enemy units of skirmishers to our 10. For cavalry, we have 128 points in sight to my 104. Although I brought elephants and he did not. For infantry, he went with a much cheaper force than I thought he would. Lots of mediocre and imitation legionaries in sight. Although there, there could be a veteran unit in here. Raw legionaries, medium foot. So it looks like his plan is to rush forward with skirmishers and peck at me until I feel compelled to attack his not very high quality overall, but defensively situated troops. Uh, my plan will be to try to avoid that and hopefully confront him somewhere in between. That means fighting uphill in one sector of the field? Well, so be it. Not actually want to do that with these lancers. So we will seize this hill, perhaps stretch our line like so for starters. Okay, this might be a long and shooty match. Onward. All right, next turn. Yeah, that's going to be annoying. Well, clearly I cannot go for this hill, so we will have to yield it to him, although 
it might be worth an assault at some point. Studio Furoi and the Imitation Legionaries are not that intimidating. But these Roman Legionaries are, so we'll wait to make a decision about that. Alright, that is good for now. Next turn. So I'll have to try to be disciplined and stand my ground until he pushes off these hills a little bit and then meet him in the flat ground in between. I know he also will not be inclined to attack my hills. Um, but I don't feel like charging uphill just yet. So we will appear defensive for now. I mean, this is definitely concerning, um, but there's not much I can do about it right away. It might even be concerning enough that I should pull this unit to the other flank, but we'll wait a bit and see how things develop. Next turn. Alright, we have withstood the first blow. Right then. Six to five, this is a little bit ugly. We do what we can. This will be back and forth as long as it isn't a situation where I'm just standing there getting pelted. I'm willing to lose a few skirmishers. We'll extend forward a little bit. There. Please come down and we'll come out into the open and fight you. Could be a nice gentlemanly contest. Alright, next turn. Oh, good. So we will have a battle after all. I'll uh, follow his gentlemanly gesture here by descending from my hills and pushing forward.
do have to be a little careful. Uh, raw unit numbers certainly don't tell the whole story. Uh, but I believe I am at 13 non-light infantry or elephant bases to his 15. Um, so I might need to push this studio photo unit up and accept that the cavalry action is going to be a lost cause. I'm going to push this unit out. That's actually good. It kind of slows down movement here. These cavalry. I will have to be careful of um, light blocking shenanigans. If he charges with these horse archers while blocking them in. Um, yeah, that could get bad. So we will push up Artista Foroi and move this Studio Foroi unit up as well. Now, all this moving up on my part may be exactly what he wants, but that is what it is. Now, he could still stand on the slope or fall back to it, so I'm trying to debate whether I move down now or let him move up a little more. Eh, let's... Oh! All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, right, let's... Oh, I was hoping to cause a break and more cohesion checks, but it was not to be. Um, let's encourage further forward movement. It's not going to cause a cohesion check, but it is annoying. Get this unit out of here. So we would actually be at quite a disadvantage on impact versus these legionaries, even with our phalanx, because they are superior. Uh, if we survive impact into melee, we should do quite well. Let's take the risk. Now I need to decide with these elephants whether I want to push this flank, which is full of skirmishers, <clears throat> or shift in this direction. I think the right call is staying available for this flank, but it could get dangerous. don't really want to get caught in this rough ground. I feel like I made a mistake, but we'll, we'll have to live with it. Okay, so it looks like we'll move into contact in the center first. I do hope that he comes down from here. Maybe I should encourage him to do so. There. Look at me. Look at me coming down. Why don't you come down too? Okay, next turn. That's going to get dangerous. It'll probably force us to move in, actually.
fine. Now, I really don't care. I just have all these skirmishers here to neutralize their light horse, so they just cancel each other out. That's fine. Okay. Things that are actually important will happen this turn, though. These Hastati and Principes are just going to have to accept getting shot up a bit. They really just need to hold out against these numbers. What do I want to do? I still don't want to fight uphill here. I don't think I will need to. Try to persuade him to do something with his legionaries. Please, come down and fight. It will be so enjoyable for us all. Look, I'm on flat ground. <laughs> There's a lot of these sorts of games you have to play. You know, they give a little, you give a little. You settle in a nice place to butcher each other. And I guess that's everyone. How do I feel so far? I think I overall feel pretty confident so far. This fear has yet to turn into anything decisive, and with, you know, the main lines starting to clash, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I am hoping to get these non-light units into the action. Probably the biggest concern is that I'll get rolled from my right side. Uh, that these Hastati will either disrupt under fire or just crumble under the weight of a general up full strength Scutari unit, and then we'll get wrapped. We'll see what happens. Next turn. Oh, I wonder if you will disrupt me this turn. No, good. Yes, this whole pointless part of the battle.
I would almost welcome a disruption if it would get his cavalry to charge and stick. Good, I can shift you over to the other flank. Well, an assault here would prevent danger of being zone of control locked by the Studio Furoi. And if I push forward, then being flank attacked by these legionaries. But I'm going to not care about that. Okay, decisions need to be made. I could attack this irregular foot to free up this Hastati unit. But if I do that, I mean, even if I attack these Skutari, these Phoenician foot are just going to move into a flanking position. Or I could charge. Pretty good. Sight risk, if I do lose, it would get very ugly. And it also would free up um, these irregular foot to charge my Hastati in the flank after getting engaged by the Scutari. So maybe it is overcautious, but at the moment, since I don't feel that we are losing elsewhere, I feel that I'm better off just sitting still here, at least until I can get this unit engaged. Charge would normally not be a good idea, but we're going to get shot to pieces anyway, so all these skirmishers can do is slow down his more numerous skirmishers and absorb ammunition so that it would make it more difficult for him to disrupt my elephants later. Is this a time to say screw it? I think it is. Let's see where this takes us. <laughs> Apparently nowhere. All right, fair enough. Here, get out of the way. Thank you. Okay, what do we do with these? Could charge in to avoid getting hit. I think we do. Well, oh, the bravest light horse archers ever. Okay, and I think that's good for now. No predictions yet. But I don't feel terrible, so I guess that's a good sign. Next turn. Yeah, that's getting ugly. Once my skirmishers are gone, my elephants will have to charge regardless of the situation. And yeah, that is what I was afraid of. He's gonna try to set up that flank attack there. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, the right is looking quite bad. I can't exploit the situation because it's the Phoenician style, but. Too bad. Hoping to catch them, but that would perhaps be a little bit too much to hope for. It's pointless bickering. This is alarming. I think I need to just open this up now. It's looking for more than that. A withdrawal might also be prudent. Well, disruption would be disastrous. Yeah, I'm just paralyzed here. I can either fall back and cohesion check or just stand. There's nothing else I could do. I suppose I could recklessly charge and hope for a disruption and pushback, but... Maybe that is better. It's very risky, but this is a guaranteed loss over here. So falling back below this hill, not exactly the greatest. A terrible decision. I mean, theoretically, I could break them on impact, but it's just not likely. Okay. <laughs> well, it was a risk, and now I will pay for it. I still have these three units to move. Held firm. Too bad. I'm just, I'm feeling pressured to act at this point. So well done to him on this flank. I'm going to start getting rolled. The question is... I, I don't think I can really do anything on this flank. So the question is, can I break through in the center before I get rolled up? I'm starting to think... No. I will continue my... record of perhaps unwarranted pessimism and now officially predict that I will lose this battle. We'll see. Morbius feeling like he's made some kind of mistake. Well... I know that feeling.
It's the risk I took, it's the price I pay. Okay. Romans. Ah, come on. Ah, he's going to roll me up. Some pressure on these, maybe they'll feel like they need to come down. It's looking ugly, very ugly. Morbio says he's unsure now. I don't know, it's looking pretty good for him. Unless something drastic happens, I'm gonna stand by my prediction. Double drop, that could help. It leads to cohesion tests. They rally, which is unexpected, but I don't know if it's going to make much difference. Keep working on these legionaries. Maybe if I could. Uh, firm but now it's starting to even out maybe one more turn do we have ammunition oh we don't unfortunate okay, we'll lock this unit of noble cavalry in place uh, no we don't
good. Let's see if that causes anything nice. No. What about you? Mm, what about you? It's all very annoying. Nice hill. It's my fault for charging it, of course. Okay, we're gonna get flanked here next. Which is unfortunate because we were about to do some real damage there. I think we're going to hold out that long. I think we need to general up and get in there now. It's all very ugly. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Hmm. This is unfavorable, but we're going to go in anyway because we're running out of time. We can at least use this light javelin horse to do rear charges and maybe for some kind of cohesion check. I could have done the super obnoxious... Uh, Rear charging with light horse and blocking them in with my own other light horse until the unit turned around and flight charging it, but it is dishonorable. And it's dishonorable to the point where it's going to get patched out of the game, so we're not going to do that. Onward. Next turn. Morbio says he needs some rallies, but I disagree. I think I need some rallies. <laughs> We'll just have to agree to disagree. But he's the one that's up points. And it's about to be up more points unless I'm missing something obvious. Oh. Well, that is rather helpful, especially if they turn... Oh, what? <laughs> okay, uh, medium foot are squishy against that sort of thing, but that was still some exceptional squishiness. Oh, oh. Ah. This is bad. I don't think we're going to be able to break these units rapidly enough. Okay, we've closed the gap a bit with that heroic elephant charge, but the heroic elephants are about to get wrecked. Uh, even units with low ammo, if you pile enough of them on, they'll get the job done. So we need some real rapid progress. How am I to get that? It's not going to be from this. Ouch. Oh, you're very annoying. Hello. It's out of my light cavalry's charge arc. Uh, 
you know what? Screw it. Let's just go over here. Mismanaging this flank, but... Ouch. that unit then damn I think he's gonna crush me well not actually win outright but next turn is going to decide the battle in his favor because this the warband is too brittle it's gonna collapse and this unit is also going to collapse which could infect this unit with panic as well so yeah I guess I'm up six, but I'm very pessimistic at this point. Just a heads up, I was told that I was quiet, so I've upped the volume, so it will be higher for the remainder of this video. In theory, it's pretty difficult to figure it out, or I'm just incompetent. He'll go for the disrupt, but with his units low on ammo, it might be tough for him to do so. So we just need to continue to push these elephants into contact. Saving the best for last. Here we go. Wait, did they stop? They did. I don't think it matters, because you can just charge next turn, but if they give me one more round of combat at least. Okay, I still think his flanks are too powerful for me to really have a chance here. So they evaded from the lights because there is a non-light unit of spearmen nearby. So that frees me up for an attack there. So we're going to take a hit that could hurt in the event it didn't. And now we can disrupt. Now I can hope for a disruption, but I don't have enough range units to force an auto break. And even a disruption is beyond me. Uh, so close to just wrecking this, but we're going to lose at least one unit, possibly two if we're unlucky. Not to mention the Triari. Um, what do you do? Very good. Yep, our only way to avoid being shot at. That was one of my concerns, one of the reasons I had the volume turned down so low is that trumpeting elephant, it's just so triumphant. Do we hold? We do. Now, I have two choices really with this unit of phalanx. I could turn.
turn and face, say, this way. Or I could form a square. I generally don't like forming a square because then I exert no zone of control and can't really move and can't charge. But this might be a situation where it's worthwhile. Either way, this unit is basically doomed. I think I'm going to gamble and just turn about for now. Because I really don't want these units to get outflanked. Okay. You're it. Be annoying. Onward. Morbius says he needs a miracle and some rallies now. Do not share his pessimism for him. But let's see what develops here. That was bound to happen. It's lucky to only disrupt. My lights are evaporating. Good, although now these elephants are going to be vulnerable to that sort of thing. That is helpful. No big deal. Annoying, but I don't think it will matter. Ooh, a frag. Interesting. Right, let's try to catch these guys. No luck. Um, please fall back. up 23, but I don't think we can find a way to get up 25. We also need to run away out of range of those Thracians. Ouch. Oh! Does that count as a miracle for him? <laughs> oh, that's useless. What are we going to do with you? Ah, you are useless. Run away. Maybe we can push towards this weakened unit of noble cavalry. Or just do that. That's good too, although we might auto break soon. You go be annoying. Damn, I was hoping to push them back. Now we're gonna get flanked and there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. Uh, instead of simply turning around, I'm going to move this elephant so that they have to turn their angle before they shoot, which will lower their effectiveness ever so slightly. That's just you. I could do a uh, just charge here. 1% win chance could happen. Um, so yeah, he says he needs a miracle, and I'm up 23, admittedly. However, beyond losing these Velites, I could easily lose this Hastati unit, which could frag this unit. I'm going to lose this unit, and I'm going to lose this unit. 
Um, I will defeat this unit, so I will lose this, maybe a little bit of this, by the time I've defeated this and reformed here. After that, if my Lancers come back, I think I might still be able to win, especially if these elephants don't run away. Just try it. No luck. Okay. Onward. Okay, Morbio's convinced of my impending victory. I'm still not, but I, I guess I never am. I just feel like this situation with my infantry is so bad. Like that. That is terrible. I mean, that's lights, who cares? They're gonna auto break soon. If not now. Yeah. And they're screwed. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really seeing the uh doom and gloom from Orbio too much here, personally. Okay, we need to get away from these breaking units immediately. And turn around and get ready to fight. This unit is close to auto breaking. We might be able to harass it into breaking with our light horse over the course of several turns. One thing he could do is Block this light horse in with this light horse, charge with this light horse to eliminate the zone of control, and then flank charge my armored cavalry. I wouldn't really be able to do anything about that. Um, so the only thing I can do to prevent that is to sacrifice another light horse unit, which I am willing to do. These elephants need to continue on the warpath and hopefully make contact with one of these units eventually. Um, these guys are just completely screwed, so goodbye. Yeah, so Morbio is convinced that he's about to lose, but I've been convinced for several turns that that is just not the case. Uh, this unit's going to be gone, and that the pike units are worth a lot of percent, so that should even us out pretty good. So at that point, maybe even after that, I probably still have the odds in my favor, but he'll have light superiority. Who knows what will happen with this cavalry situation. And, you know, I don't know. I'm always pessimistic, but I'm just unsure how this is going to turn out. Next turn, Morbio is still despairing. As much as I despair. We'll see who's more correct to despair. Well, that's a rally for him. I don't believe these are a threat until he gets at least three low ammo units to shoot. Interesting. Yeah, there go. 
pretty much all my remaining lights. Could use a rally right now. Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind. Brings him to 55. I think I will bother doing this because we've nothing better to do with these guys right now. I don't think we can reach them. And do I want to try to chase them down or do I want to break these? I think I'd rather work on breaking these. <laughs> Although that's not going to do it. This will be unfortunate. It's going to push us pretty far up in percent 53. We're going to lose this unit too. Well, we have no choice here. We just need to get in. That is good. That could push us to victory. 53 to 57 though, so it's not a sure thing, but I'm feeling confident at the moment. Next turn. Ouch. Okay, that's bad. And that's to be expected. also expected, although I don't like it. That pushes us over 60. Okay. Uh, so, if there's no rallies, that would be it. Rather ridiculous note to end on, I suppose. for us. So we'll protect the Zistofuroi with the Isturiofuroi, and harass this Armored Cavalry. Run away. Okay, um, I believe that should be it, but let's just make sure. Okay, and it looks like it's over. Right, so, let's 
it was so close that when it came down to it, this unit of elephants saved me. Uh, this unit hadn't held on, we would have been lost. Um, in a sense, I guess my uh, the sacrifice of my skirmishers on the right wing saved me because they absorbed all the ammunition of his skirmishers so that they could not effectively disrupt these elephants. And it was very awkward fighting here simply because he had more units even though my units were better. And he deployed them in a way that I couldn't take advantage of my quality in time. He also, <clears throat> by virtue of... Uh, making progress on the swing forced me to attack uphill, which I had been trying to avoid doing the entire time. I think another key was that ultimately we were able to not suffer from our inferiority in cavalry that much. Uh, there was some one drop here from this unit, but otherwise we sort of contained the damage. So yeah, 61 to 55, not not exactly the most decisive victory, but I'll take it. Good game to Morbio, as always. Until next time.